Renal cell carcinoma is the most common type of kidney cancer in adults. It accounts for approximately 3% of adult cancers, and the incidence has risen steadily by about 2 to 4% each year in the past few decades. It is effectively a collection of different types of tumors, each derived from the various parts of the kidney cell and displaying salient genetic characteristics, histological features, and, to some extent, clinical picture. When it metastasizes, it has the tendency to spread to the lymph nodes, lungs, liver, adrenal glands, brain, or bones. While the exact cause of renal cell carcinoma is unknown, there are risk factors that increase the chance of developing it, such as smoking, high blood pressure, family history of kidney cancer, and obesity. The chance of developing renal cell carcinoma increases with the age, and males have double the chance of having it compared to females. In a lot of patients, this cancer may not produce any symptoms for most of its course. Only about 10% of patients present with a classic triad of flank pain, blood in the urine, and lump in the abdomen. Other signs and symptoms may include unexplained weight loss, fever, night sweats, weakness, fatigue, nausea, and high blood pressure. Renal cell carcinoma is associated with a number of perineoplastic syndromes, which are conditions caused by either the tumor hormones produced by the tumor or by the body's attack on the tumor. In about 20% of these patients, perineoplastic syndromes are present, such as high blood calcium levels, high red blood cell count, high platelet count, and deposition of amyloid protein in one or more organ systems. To diagnose renal cell carcinoma, signs and symptoms and past medical history play significant roles. Based on the symptoms and signs, a range of biochemical tests are considered to provide sufficient diagnostic clues. Kidney imaging is vital, mainly consisting of ultrasound, CT scanning, and MRI scanning of the kidneys. Biopsy of the suspected kidney mass helps confirmation of the diagnosis. To evaluate the extent of cancer spread, PET scanning is the standard imaging modality. The therapeutic approach to renal cell carcinoma is guided by the stage or degree of tumor spread, pre-existing medical conditions, and overall health and age of the person. The principal treatment options for renal cell carcinoma consist of surgery, immunotherapy, and targeted therapy. Partial or complete removal of the affected kidney is the standard treatment for localized renal cell carcinoma. Immunotherapy, or biologic therapy, works by boosting the body's immune system to help destroy cancer cells. Cytokines are the artificially engineered versions of natural proteins that activate the immune system, and the ones most often to treat kidney cancer are interleukin-2 and interferon-alpha. The targeted therapy works by blocking growth of the new blood vessels that nourish cancer cells or downplaying important proteins in cancer cells that help them grow, or both. Clinical response rates with chemotherapy, either monoagent or combination, are usually less than 15%. Renal cell carcinoma is not very sensitive to radiation, and radiation therapy is more often used to palliate or ease cancer symptoms in case of cancer spread. For more information about list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.